I pray that the Lord will open your eyes to understand that God cares for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you believe it, shout a better amen. amen. Have your seat. John chapter 9. John chapter 9. From verse 1 to 9. Child of God, are you there? And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And the disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, and uh, that he was born blind? Verse 3, everybody. Jesus answered, Neither had this man sinned, nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work as long as I am in the world. I am the light of the world. When he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle and anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. And they said unto him, everybody, go, wash in the pool of Siloam, which is by interpretation sent. He went his way, therefore, and they washed, and they came, seeing. Everybody, verse 8 and 9. The neighbors, therefore, and they which before had seen him that he was blind, said, Is not this he that sat and begged? Some said, This is he. Others said, He is like him. But he said, I am he. This is the word of the Lord. And of course, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. John chapter 9 is a very interesting chapter, and I would like you to read the whole chapter for you to get the whole story. It's about the story of a man that was born blind. The man that was born blind from his mother's womb. Child of God, let me tell you something. Blindness is a bad thing to happen to any person. But the worst if for a man to be blind from the womb. If you are blind, you will not see anything. Everywhere will be darkness. But this man that was born blind had never seen anything. Never knew the beauty of sunlight. Never knew the beauty of the rainbow. Never knew. If he is married, he never knew the face. He didn't even know how he looks like, let alone the face of his wife or his children. He never knew what food looked like. He never knew what dog. He cannot differentiate between dog, dog and a cat. Because he never saw them for the first time in his life. He never saw water. He never saw fire. Think about that. Blindness is the worst disease. And I pray that none of you will go blind. I didn't hear that amen very well. Yeah. Now, in the case of this man that was born blind, the Bible said that while they passed by, Jesus saw a man which was blind from his birth. Jesus saw the man. Hallelujah. While Jesus saw this man, his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? blind. Because it was generally believed that the sickness is as a result of sin. Of course, every sickness is as a result of sin, but not as a result of immediate sin. It might be because of uh, uh, Adamic sin, that is the fallen nature of man. Do you understand what I'm saying? Adam, emehego, owa, emehego, mehe, banyenimie, oya, banyenimie, ongo, banyenimie. So, this thing can come because of a fallen world. It may not come because of your direct sin. It may not come because of the sins of your parent. But the Jews generally believe that any person that is sick is sick because of his own sin. Therefore, they ask Jesus, this man was blind from his womb. How come? Did he sin in his mother's womb? Jesus said, no, but that the glory of God will be made manifest in his life. Hallelujah. Child of God, this is a great consolation unto many of you. When 
For which you know, I can hide your white but it may not, it may be a little fault by the doctor, and they are now carrying HIV. Do you understand what I'm saying now? So every sickness is not as a result of somebody's sin. And uh, that sickness, that that or that situation, you know, there are some people that have risen in life and they have fallen, and people thought that it's because of their wickedness that they have fallen. It is not true. I would like you from now henceforth, I would like you to begin to see people with the heart of compassion. Amen. I would like you to see them with the heart of what? Compassion. Because a lot of evil came, come upon people. Not because of what they have done. Or because of what their fathers did. Or because of faulty foundation. But because of devil. When uh, God asked him, where are you from? He said, from going to and fro and the back and the forth. That's how I saw Job. Amen? So my prayer is that the hand of the enemy will never rest upon your life. And even when the enemy comes, the Spirit of God will lift up a standard against that enemy. And he will definitely will be delivered. Say amen to that. Yes. Now look at how people see you. They see you as somebody who is suffering because of what you did. Because of what your father did. Because of what your mother did. Because of what your grandfather did. That's how they see you. They see you from your point of failure. They see you as... Somebody suffering because of nemesis. And unfortunately, I want you to also see how you see yourself. You also see yourself as an idiot. Amen? The way you talk to yourself, if people should say the same thing to you, do you understand it now? Those people that say such thing to you will be very wicked on earth. You call yourself foolish. You call yourself all sorts of names because you fail. You even try to kill yourself. You curse yourself. At times you even pray that you die. If somebody comes to you because of what you've done and say you must die, you will say that person is wicked. So from today, you will change your attitude towards yourself. Amen? Amen. What if you say, Anofia de Kamu? How can you call yourself Anofia de Kamu? Are you Anofia? Because of a single mistake. You call yourself Anofia. You call yourself uh, uh, all kind of name. Do you understand, Captain? Oh, Wegi. If you're not going to come now, but come somebody chopped a name on the drone or down. Webby, I say, Webby, I'm going to come and I'm going to die. If you're going to come and I'm going to come. I'm going to come. I'm going to come. But when it comes to you, you curse yourself. You abuse yourself. You never see anything good in your life. From today, you must change your life. You must change that attitude. You cannot curse somebody that has been blessed by God. Your body belongs to the Holy Ghost. You are a servant of another person. You were created by God. You have no right to take away your life. You have no right to curse yourself. You have no right to curse anybody. Do you hear what I'm saying? Any person around you, your neighbor is God's property. You go all right, Ibuyano. You have no right to kill yourself. If you kill yourself, if the government gets you where you are attempting to kill yourself, they will jail you for talking. And would they give me a chalk folder? A talking. Why? Because you are killing somebody that was created by God. You have no right over it. Amen, somebody. That's it. Now, I have shown you two things: how people see you and also how you see yourself. Because many people are under the influence of Satan. You think that you have not married because it is your fault. It is a mistake you made some time back. You think that you are suffering this sickness because of the mistake you made. You keep on blaming yourself. You keep on blaming your neighbor. You keep on abusing others. From today, that attitude must change. Say amen to that. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But child of God, look at how Jesus sees it. I would like you to follow Jesus. Say I'm a disciple of Jesus. And I will follow his attitude. Amen. Look at what Jesus said. Why the disciples, how many of them? Twelve of them. I don't know whether they are complete or not, but at least twelve of them were seeing one thing. They were seeing one thing. They were seeing one thing. What is that thing? They were seeing a man born blind as a result of the sin of the father or the mother. I will feel what I have If you walk in, begin a monolith for, what is it? 
Now, if for how human beings think. But watch out what Jesus did. Jesus said, No, neither the father nor the mother. But that the works of God should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is uh, there. Jesus said, it is neither his father nor his what? Mother. Nor himself. But that I will do the work of him who sent me. And Jesus made him uh, to see again. He spat on the ground and then put it on his face and asked him to go and wash at the pool of uh, Siloam, which means sent. And then he went and washed himself and came back and was totally healed. Hallelujah. The topic of this message is God. Who cares for his own? Say it. God, who cares for his own? Amen. Now look at the attitude of Jesus. The Bible said, the Bible said in verse 1, and the Jesus passed by. He saw. He did what? He saw a man that was blind from his bed. It was not this man that saw Jesus. It was Jesus that saw the man. This man did not pray. He never knew who Jesus was. Even after making him to be whole. He never, even, even when he was seen, Jesus simply walked away, mingled in the crowd. He could not recognize the person that made him see. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It was Jesus who located him. The man did not pray. He did not call Jesus. But Jesus saw him. And they approached him. It was Jesus who cared for him. It was Jesus who looked for him. It was Jesus who searched him out. And of course, by the time the, uh, he got healed and they started seeing, do you understand? People, people saw him and said, Wow, is he not this man that was blind? Is, the other people say, He resembled the person. The other person said, No. How can he be walking like that alone without him going in a deer or the possible? So when this man heard what they are saying, whether it is him or not, he said, I am him. And they were all surprised. So we are rejoicing and they glorifying God. But when the Pharisees and the leaders of the church, when they heard that, this man that was born blind is now seen. And also learned that Jesus healed him on the Sabbath day. You know what they said? They said, Nechine kekene, nubu akai chop tanwa, nguka hokuloge, buwene ajom moji. The man who said, ajom moji yao, ajom moji here. Nifia mabonambo, nia ulisi, manaketa, nia nafoso. You see how wicked people are? Instead of rejoicing that a man that was born blind, from his mother's womb is now seen. They were now interested in protecting their religion. Do you know that these people on one accord pushed this man out of the church? Say, get out from us. We don't need you. Go. Watch it. The Bible said, and when Jesus learned that they sent him away from the synagogue, he went and they searched for him and they located him again. I, God, who cares for his own. Say it. God, who cares for his own. Touch your neighbor. Say, your God is a God that cares for his own. Hallelujah. When they pushed him out of the church, he went and located him. Can I prophesy unto you? According to the word of God, by the principles of God, by the way your God behaves, you have been rejected, but God has not rejected you. Yeah. They can kick you out, but God will locate you. Yeah. They can throw you away, but God will lift you again. Yeah. Do you believe me? Yeah. The Bible said that Jesus searched him and located this man, and when he saw him, he said to him, Do you believe in the Son of God? The man said, Show me the person, and I will believe. I have never seen anybody since I was born until one man I did not know 
open my eyes. Who is that son of God? He said, I am he standing before you. And he bowed. And he said, I believe. Kai! Jesus can always look for somebody. Your God will locate you. My father will locate you. The enemy will pursue you away from your land of goodness. The enemy will pursue you away from the land of favor. The enemy will pursue you away from your health and give you ill health. The enemy will enter into people and they will pursue you away from your marriage. But I tell you, you are serving a God that will locate you. You are serving a God that cares for his own. You are serving a God that will come for you. Raise up your hand and say, I know. My father will come for me. My God will come for me. He will look for me. Whether anybody cares for me or not. My God will care for me. He cares for me. He will look for me. He will deliver me. I will laugh again. I will rejoice again. Amen. Did you get that? Did you get that? Whether you like it or not, your God has one character. Very good character. Wonderful character. Amazing character. Powerful character. Enjoyable character. Amen? And that character is that Jehovah Marandea. Jehovah Marandokere. Jehovah Marandokere. He knows his own. Did you get that? Do you know what I'm saying? God knows his own. He never, he said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He said, you are warm, Jacob. You are what? You are warm, Jacob. You have no eyes, I will be your eyes. You have no ear, I will be your ears. You have no arm, you have no feet, but I will be your arm, I will be your feet. I will help you and you get to where you are going. I will fight your enemy. You have no teeth, you are warm. Okay, if you go, is a warm. Eat it. If you're here, if you're here, if you're here, if you're here, give him a long run on one. God said, I will protect him. God said, I am the creator. I created you warm. I will protect you. I will guide you. Hallelujah. Believe it or not, you have a God that cares for his own. Believe it or not, that had been his character always. Believe it or not, this God will care for you. Believe it or not, he is coming after you now. Amen. Amen. Whether they are laughing at you or not, don't worry. Your God is coming. Whether you are in pain or not, don't worry. Your Father is coming. Whether the enemy has packed you one side, don't worry. Your God is coming. He is coming. He is coming. He is coming. Tell the brother woman your God is coming. Tell that person in pain your God is what? Can you hear somebody by the church say, don't worry. Your God is coming. He is on the way. That is his character. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. He is God. Who searches for his own? Who cares for his own? Who looks after his own? Amen. Amen. Now in, in Exodus, in Exodus chapter seven, 7 verse 14, in the Old Testament, he never forgot the Israelites. He went straight ahead. Sorry, in Exodus chapter 3 verse 7, he went straight ahead and they searched for them. Exodus chapter 3 verse 7, everybody, let us read it together. And the Lord said, I have surely, Babrik, I have surely. Come on, man. Say, I. I. Say, surely. surely. I have surely. I'm watching the clip. I'm putting on 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 the clip. I have. And the Lord said, who is talking? And the Lord said, I have surely seen the afflictions of my people which are in Egypt. I have surely. Someone says sure. God said surely I have seen it. Nezia, Nezia. Eji manya wemegene. Wefuya. Ogubirokwa. It has not finished. 
and the, I have heard their cry by the reason of their taskmaster. I also have what? Heard. Surely, me Yeah. I have also heard their cry by the reason of their taskmaster. For I know their sorrows. I do what? I know. I am God who knows. I know. I can interpret it. I'm a lamia. I need a doctor. Nothing like a diagnosis. Don't diagnose it for me. I already know. Because I have seen and I have heard and I have known. Therefore, I am sending you Moses because I have come down to deliver them. I have what? I have come down from heaven to set them free. Child of God, God is coming down for you. Yeah. You didn't hear that. I said God is coming down for you. Yeah. Listen to me. In the Old Testament, when Esau pursued Jacob away, oh Baraka Tekerika and the Rebakuta. When Jacob ran away, the Bible said that he came in the wilderness and it was night and he made a stone his pillow and he laid down in anguish and there he slept. Right there, God came down for him. The Bible said in his dream, he saw a ladder up there and he saw God up, up, seated. And he saw angels ascending and uh, descending on him. Right in the wilderness, God opened the door of heaven and they came down for Jacob. Right now, believe it or not, the Bible said that Jacob woke up from that dream and Jacob said, Nezia, Nezia, Jehovah, never, Mamu, Megene, Amatai. God came and they looked for him. Why? Because God had and God saw and God know his afflictions. He said to Jacob, don't worry. You are running away with only your staff and your anointing oil here. Don't worry, I'm coming for you. I will bless you and you shall surely be blessed. And I will multiply you and you shall surely be what? Multiply you. Because I am the God of your father, Abraham and Isaac. I will follow you and I will bring you back a rich and wealthy man. And Jacob said, if God do this thing truly, I will pay my tithe. Come on! My God is looking for somebody else now. My God is coming down from heaven because of somebody. My God is looking into your affliction. He has already seen it. He has already had it. He knows your pain. He knows your suffering. He knows your pain. He knows your suffering. And he's coming down for you. Do you hear me? See that man? Get it. One year and I go on in a back on our band, Jehovah Folia. I don't believe in a in a weapon. Our band, Jehovah Maria. Here, we didn't have a booking. No, be Jehovah Holia. All send an angle on Kendi Jeep. All send the angle. Oh, can work at police on a cafe. Jesus making it. Hope we are. I solve our problem on care. Egypt, Israel, no need to be back. Oh, hope we are. Oh, see any way, but Onu ya nanti ya, onu ya nanya, onu lo biya mali ya mundia na kabiga, o o biya sopo tafa. Jacob, atu mukuya na benya, mbo eso, o bo eso, puta nazara, oke bude, agu abi na nazara, o lugwe ba, o lo pute mele pido, la la la, Jehovah bara ta wesi ya, ahu mukuya beno. I can catch you now, Jacob. I see you where you are. I see your problem. I have heard your cry, and I have come down to bless you. Oh, my father is coming down for somebody else. My God will locate somebody. I'm a shaman. I won't get to plug in a bend nugget, to plug in a bed again, to plug in a zinu logger, Nakologa and Nagget, Nakologa and Nadigi, Nakologi Fendanine. My God is coming now. It is not only in the Old Testament, God is also apt to doing that in the New Testament. Child of God, even in the New Testament. Let me show you. Look at Luke chapter 7 verse 14. And he came and they taught the buyer. And they that bear him stood still. And he said, young man, I say unto thee, arise. The woman of Nain was a, 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 a she was a, a, a widow. And the, the husband had already died. And she had only son. Just one son. Just one child. And a son. And that child died. Devil must be so foolish. Devil did not say, because this woman was a widow, let me have a, a mercy on her. Devil did not say, okay, she has only child. Let me go and kill from the one that had the seven children. 
Devil went and they killed the husband and they killed the only child to terminate that lineage. Jesus said, I know you. I know how painful it is. The woman of name did not invite Jesus. She never prayed, Jesus, come and help me. She was going to bury the child. Because if I may be, maybe I go, I may be. I will go, but I will go. Again, again. It's again, but he blew the other cane. Jesus run a bone of one out of or turn or to buffer before fetching any mini or to get up a will run a funnel or see her stop and they stopped. Open it and they open it. I said, Little boy, I said to you, sit up. And he stood and they said, Woman, go back and continue living with your child. <laughs> Nobody invited Jesus. Jesus invited himself because he is God that cares for his own. He is God who knows your affliction. He is God who cares for everybody he created. Come on, raise your right hand and say, my God cares for me. God cares for me. Say, I know. I know. My God cares for me. I know. I know. He is looking for me. I know. I know. He will locate me. I know. I know. He knows my sorrow. Know. He knows my pain. He will come down for me today. Amen. Child of God, not only the woman of Nain, I will give you another person in the New Testament. This one will surprise you so much. And that is in the book of Matthew chapter 8 verse 28. And when he was come to the other side, into the country of uh, Gergesenes, all right? There met him two possessed with devils, coming out of the tomb, exceeding fears, so that no man might pass that way. Unechetaria, unechetaria, unechetamuka, unechetamadnaba. Bible says, "I don't want any mifa kanko." No, but the thing is, I cannot believe it. For the thing is, I may have my God has made me different. We two got here, na sa ide ba hano. Bible says, "Na e yin e na bani, na muka ne timbu ne iri ana ro mu e." Every now and then, from morning till night, they will be crying and eating their flesh. The Bible said that nobody crosses that side. They attempted to chain him with the strongest chain. He will just break it like, like it. He will just break it and go his way. This man was in constant torture of the enemy. This man has lost his brain. Therefore, he cannot pray. This man has lost his senses. Therefore, he doesn't even know who God is. This man is possessed of the devil. Therefore, he cannot even call God. This man has been suppressed by the evil. The devil has taken over his life. Amen? Amen? Let me tell you something. You do not know. When Jesus finished from the other side, he told his disciples, go over to the other side. Okay? I am coming. Let me just settle this people. And when he settled with the people and then prayed, and then he saw... That the disciples were in trouble. You see, you see it again. That that they were under under the uh, storm. Do you understand? And then Jesus jumped in. That, I'm telling you what happened before this passage. Jesus went and uh, walked on the sea because he had already seen the disciples in trouble. Amen. Amen. Now, when he was walking, Peter said, "Is this a ghost or?" He said, who are you? He said, I am your Lord. Peter said, if it is you, beckon me to come. He said, come. And then Peter walked on the sea. You remember the story? Yes. That is where they started singing. Aha, mado, gene, kobo. Aha, mado, gene, kobo. Do you remember the story now? Very good. Now, that is another example of Jesus from afar, seeing his disciples in trouble. He went straight ahead and uh, delivered them. Did you get that? Now, do you know, because they were crossing over to heal that devil, I mean to heal that man, you know, they did not do anything. By the time they healed these two persons in that side, the people came out because the demon in them were sent into the swine. Do you understand? And they ran to the village and they told the villagers what happened. The villagers now ran out and said, Because sin in a bay, Megane, Faton, Papa, Papa. Which means, in actual sense, it was that those two persons that we are possessed by the demon that Jesus came to that place to heal. 
And it was because he was coming to heal them that the devil pushed hindrance on the way. The devil said, you see, you people cannot get there. They now came to the sea and they put a very big storm on the way to stop them from getting there. But you see, Jesus is unstoppable. The devil had wanted that Jesus will not cross over to heal those demon-possessed men. Now let me tell you. But Jesus located him. Because God is God who cares for his own. Child of God, the message has been delivered to you. Today, no matter your problem, one thing is needed. If you can only accept to become a member of the kingdom of God. If you can give your life to Jesus Christ, I'm telling you, he's coming. I am telling you, he is what? You know that Jesus was sent to Israel. So he went all through Israel. No matter where you are, no matter what is happening, he will get you. Because Israelites were in a covenant with Abraham. Do you understand? Through Abraham. They were in covenant with God. Through whether because Abraham, why don't you surrender your life to Jesus now? And then he will take care of you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If you surrender your life today to Jesus Christ, he will take care of you. It doesn't matter. They will send accidents, but he will see it ahead of time. He will save you. Your barrenness, he knows it. He had it. He knows your affliction. He will save you. No matter what is happening in your life, he will know it. He knows it. He will hear it. He, he can hear because he is omnipotent, omniscient, and omnibenevolent. And he is the alpha and the what? Omega. What will happen the day you will die on earth? When you were 120 years, he had already known it, he had already seen it. He will take care of the whole circumstances. Child of God, you have no other option today except to give him your life. If you are interested in giving your life to Jesus, can I see you stand up wherever you are? Stand up if you are interested in giving your life to Jesus. Open it, you will end up in your care. Ah, what a mighty man we serve! Heaven and earth adore him. Angels bow before him. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Open a quarter, but whatever I was supposed to, I'll pray for you. Just quickly, raise up your right hand. When I can again, say with me, Lord Jesus, you are God, a loving God. You care for your own. In a chaturogi fulefu, in a chaturogi na yoya. Nkonya matara ine je top ya na abo iwe bunye ye no buri enata we make onwe lo nwe o dre madoge atorom kebulo onye nwe mno nye nso putam ana mana ba to nwe nwuru ni him ana mana ba tan sop tin yere mu we na ario bido ta ga ni ro ekwekwa na ka nda were mu ogiti nye ni mem can we forget? Name me one as you. In case we are not wrong, can we remain those anya? Can we can forget? We are in Benga. 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 We are in I pray for you, child of God, for now, so long as you have asked Jesus to come into your life, to be your Lord and Savior. The Bible said that whoever shall, whoever shall believe that he died for him, and they confess with his mouth that he is Lord, the same shall be saved. I therefore pray that you will be saved. I pray that from now on, your name be cancelled from the book of death and be written in the book of life. From today, may God give you His Holy Spirit. 
Ki we Ko we drogi We ba na leze ya Ebe me bele na ndo jo Aga ha rafugi Nde o yege Na maro chineke Aga ha kpopu gozo Ihu tonko wa Aga ha kpopu gozo Kodo tu ana Jesus You can now go Go through that door Go through the other door Just go under the outside they will collect your name quickly and your number. Case you have got a china can have any. Say, Oh Lord, locate me today as you located them. Oh Lord, locate me today as you located these people. I know you care for me. I know you are my Lord. You have that attribute. You are God who cares for your own. Ibu chine ke onye na chonde ya. Ibu chine ke onye na legotande ya. Ibu chine ke onye marebende ya no. Onye na chola hajene be fano. Na puta ni me bahano. Ibu chine ke onye na ba wano donde ya. Make it your prayer, make it your prayer, make it your prayer. The Lord knows you. The Lord cares for you. Our God is God who cares. For his own. Our God is God who cares. For his own. Our God is God who cares. For his own. Ah. Yesterday, Onya, Onwe Onwe Na Chongwa, Onwe Ni Biya Na Kono. Ebo abone no, ejima na abana foge na. I'm also seeing another woman in her bedroom crying because no more onwa. Digi fologe na nya. Ijo begini na choke moali onwa. Wherever you are, you are receiving a twin. You are receiving a twin. You are receiving it. Win! I'm also seeing a girl. Last week, throughout, you were crying because of marriage. God is saying, Don't cry for marriage again. I have seen your tears, I have seen your afflictions. And I have come to deliver you. I raise my hand now. And I decree. Wherever your husband is. Let him begin to locate you. Let him begin to locate you. In the name of Jesus Christ. 